A and B entered into a partnership with capitals in the ratio of 4 is to 5. After 3 months, A withdrew one-fourth of his capital and B withdrew one-fifth of his capital. The gain at the end of 10 months was rupees 760. What is A's share in this profit? Now we have been given the ratio of investments of A and B which is 4 is to 5. So we can say that A invested 4x rupees and B invested 5x rupees. Now we want the share of A in the profit. To calculate that we need the ratio of A's profit to the B's profit. We have A is to B as A by B which is equal to A's share of investment divided by B's share of investment. What is A's share of investment? Well, it is 4x for the first 3 months. So we have 4x times 3. Plus, for the rest of 7 months, we have this investment of A minus the 1 fourth of that because A withdrew 1 fourth of his capital after 3 months, right? So 4x minus 1 fourth of 4x right and times 7 for the rest of 7 months right divided by similar is the case with B. B invests 5x so 5x times 3 for the first 3 months plus for the next 7 months B's amount will be 5x minus 1 fifth of 5x because B withdrew 1 fifth of his capital after 3 months so 5x minus 1 fifth of 5x times 7. So this is equivalent to 4x times 3 is 12x plus we have this 4 and this 4 get cancelled out. 4x minus x is 3x and 3x times 7 is 21x divided by we have 5x times 3 is 15x plus this 5 and this 5 goes out. 5x minus x is 4x 4x times 7 is 28x. So this is equal to 33x upon 43x. Right. So x get cancelled out. The ratio is a is to b is 33 is to 43. And this ratio is the ratio of the profits earned by a and b. Now the total parts are 43 plus 33. And that is equal to 76. Hence, we can calculate the A's share of profit in this complete investment business. Right. So, A's share is equal to A share is 33 of 76. So, 33 of 76 times the complete profit times 760. So, 76 times 10 is 760. So, this is equal to 330. So A share is 330 rupees. A began a business with 85,000 rupees. He was joined afterwards by B with 42,500 rupees. For how much period does B join if at the end of year profits are in the ratio of 3 is to 1? Well, it is clear that A joins for 12 months. That is, A begins the business and at the end of year they get the profit. So A is there for 12 months. And now let us assume that B is there for X months. We have been given the investments made by A and B which is 85,000 and 42,500 and we know the time periods. Also the ratio of their profits is given which is 3 is to 1. So 3 is to 1 is equals to the amount invested by A 85,000 times the time period of A which is 12 divided by amount invested by B 42,500 times X which is the time period of B. Divide the numerator and denominator by 85. So 85 times 10 is 850 and 85 times 5 is 425. So we have X is equals to X goes to the left. So we have 10 times 12 by 5 times 3. So 3 4s are 12, 5 2s are 10. So x is equal to 8. So 8 months is the time period for which B is there with this business. So option D is the correct answer. 
A starts business with 3,500 rupees and after 5 months B joins with A as his partner. After an year, the profit is divided in the ratio of 2 is to 3. What is B's contribution in the capital? Well, the business is there for an year, right? So A's contribution because he started the business is 12 months, right? And B's contribution is 12 minus 5 because B joins after 5 months. So B's contribution or B's time period is 12 minus 5, that is 7 months, right? Now, we have been given the ratio of their profits, which is 2 by 3. So 2 by 3 is equal to the amount invested by A multiplied by the time period of A. So 3, 5, double 0 times 12 upon the amount invested by B. Let it be X because that's not given. That's what we have to find out. B's contribution times the time period of B is 7 months. So 7. Okay. So 7 times 5 is 35. So 7 times 500 is 3500. We have x is equals to 500 times 12 times 3 divided by 2. 2 times 6 is 12. So 500 times 18. And that is equals to the x's value is 9000 rupees. So B's contribution to the capital is 9000 rupees that is option D.